Hello, Shiny Lines Church. It's Pastor Chris, and I know what all of you have been thinking. Pastor Chris, why haven't we had a really long update video for a while? I know you miss it, so here it is. Um, many of you already know, I, I, we've tried to be really open about this, we have a three-step plan to get back into the swing of things. And step one is what we've already been experiencing for about a month now, is back into kind of the, the, the services with extreme modifications. Step two is moderate modifications, right? They're less extreme. And step three is kind of the new normal we're going to be settling into for the long haul. Uh, so here are the things that are going to be changing from what you would have experienced the last several Sundays. So a lot of things are staying the same. Here are some things that are changing. First of all, thank you so much. I know we are an affectionate, loving church. I know that for many people to see each other, the first instinct is to give a hug or a high five or a handshake or whatever it may be. I know that many of you have uh, begrudgingly kept from doing that out of respect for other people. Uh, so at this point we are moving to, you know, if you want to give a handshake, high, fi high five, hugs, whatever, uh, feel free to do so. Now, it's weird I have to say this, but they, they, they have to be consensual. That's not a COVID thing. That's just being a good person thing. Like if someone does not want hugged, if someone does not want uh, to be touched, we're going to respect that. Uh, you, you, you can't force yourself on people, that's bad. So again, it's so weird I have to say that, but uh, the reason I'm saying it is because we have been very kind with one another, not knowing where other people stand, having that little awkward dance of do we shake hands, do we give you know an elbow five, do we, you know, I like to give the foot five or to give the Vulcan symbol, whatever. Uh, but we'll be moving back into more of the swing of things. We are not having greeting time yet. And again, that's just because there are still a lot of people who are very concerned or they work in an environment where it would be unwise for them to be in physical contact. So we're going to honor that for a little bit longer, but we are moving to, uh, you know, touch optional. Just, you know, again, please make sure it's wanted. All right. Second part, uh, we will not be having nursery or K4 kids yet, but we are reopening our student ministries. Now, we're going to get into this a little bit later, but again, student ministry is grades 5 through 8 on Sunday morning, and it's grades 9 through 12 Sunday night. Pastor Josh had made some modifications uh, to kind of accommodate some things, but I believe that's where we're, we're settling. If you have questions, email josh at shawneealliance.com, uh, and we will talk about children's ministry in a minute. Uh, I, I understand that many of you have hard, had a hard time worshiping Jesus without coffee, and apparently we are backing up lines at every coffee selling establishment, which first of all, thank you for blessing your community. Uh, so we're going to start serving coffee again, all right? Now, I know that's a silly thing to take time about, but let me just say this. Please, 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 please. Just be wise with you know being in groups, being around people, be courteous. Uh, we're gonna work out some details on that here as a staff, and then we'll be passing on some of those things uh, to you if anything's different. We're gonna continue our drop-off offering. Uh, so we will not be passing the plate. We will continue to have a drop-off offering. That way, if anyone does feel any kind of concern, uh, we are not gonna withhold the act of worship through the tithe that, that they would be able to participate in. So we will continue to do that at the end of the service. And again, I think it's gone very well. You know, people are, again, thank you so much for your faithfulness and giving. Um, but it's, this seems to be fitting well, and uh, we're gonna continue that for the time being. So we are gonna increase the number of chairs in the activity center. Now, you may have noticed that the activity center looked very full when it came to chairs, but we more than doubled the amount of space that we normally have. Now, we're not going back to our regular seating yet, but we're going to be about cutting it in the middle. So that's gonna add a lot of seating. Now, that's good and bad because, again, you don't have quite as much distance with the person in front of you or behind you. However, you do have more options to space yourself out a little bit. Again, please understand that as we've done these things, a lot of them have been to help slow the spread. It's been to help make sure that we have healthcare capacity. But at some point, uh, just to be really frank with you, we cannot continue the seating options we have without adding probably two to three services per Sunday if we were to move forward with that kind of seating arrangement. So. Uh, that is not the direction we're moving in. The direction we're moving in is we are moving things back to uh, what they were like in the past. Uh, so increasing our number of seats so it'll be a little bit closer together. Again, it won't be 
tightly packed, but it'll be closer than it was the last few weeks. And again, just a reminder, if you're feeling sick, if you're showing symptoms of that, or if someone in your family is really sick, we are continuing to broadcast online. It's a great time for you to plug in online. That is exactly the kind of thing that we started this for two years ago. Uh, or three years ago, however long it's been. When we started broadcasting online, it was not to take the place of Sunday morning in-person worship. It was to provide an alternative for those who are sick or those who are shut in, uh, those maybe are there on vacation and they wanted to worship with their home church online. So we're gonna continue to do that. Uh, I wanna talk very briefly about children's ministry. Children's ministry is returning, not this Sunday. Uh, here's the deal. On a Sunday morning, at 11 o'clock hour especially, we can have between 50 to 60K through four kids easily. We do not have the number of rooms in our facilities combined to be able to give them a complete spacing out, okay? Uh, but even if we did, that's not the model of ministry we have. We have a large group worship experience and time together, and then we break into smaller groups from there. So the simple reality is even with 20 kids, we cannot guarantee any form of social distancing. In this whole process, what has upset me the most is if I see something saying strict social distancing will be followed and then I get there and it's not. Now, the reason for that isn't because of my own personal convictions about my distancing from other people. It's because when somebody looks at that and they, they give that, that statement trust and that trust is broken, I think that's a wrong thing to do. So I just want to be really clear. Our children's ministry, as kinesthetic as it is, as highly movement-oriented and as fun and energetic as it is, even with a massively reduced number of children, it's just not going to happen consistently. And, and by the way, a lot of these guidelines that are being put in place for, for camps or for some of the ideas that are coming to schools, you talk to any kindergarten teacher, there's no amount of precautions in the world that are going to keep a, a class of 15 kindergartners from ever being within six feet of each other. It's just not gonna happen. So we're being honest about this. When we return to children's ministry, K through four in nursery, there's going to be close contact because that's what that ministry looks like. That is as essential to running that ministry as Mountain Dew and uh, chips are for youth ministry, okay, or pizza. Uh, it's as essential as basketballs for upward. It's as essential as bows and arrows for center shot. The, the kids are having a fun time together in community and that's what it looks like. They're playing together, they're kinesthetic, they're doing crafts together. That's, we're not changing that out of, out of fear or out of reaction. We are not moving back to K4 kids and we're not moving back to nursery yet. But when we do, we're gonna to continue to have high wash uh, or high touch areas being sanitized. We're going to be having, throughout our, our kids ministry, we're gonna be having sanitizer stations. We're gonna be taking breaks to wash and or sanitize hands. So we're gonna do the best that we can. And we have some good practices moving forward, but we're just not able to keep them six feet, four feet, two feet apart. Frankly, to try to get them to not hug one another is gonna be within itself a battle. So, um, and, and you know, as, as having a child myself who's in our ministries, I can tell you the first thing he's gonna to wanna to do when he sees all of his friends is get as close as he can and share what the last few months have been like and, and play and share toys and all these kinds of things. So, uh, so that's what we're looking at. And I'm telling you that now because I'm just preparing our parents. If, if you are expecting a super sanitized, everyone's in a bubble children's ministry experience, it's not ever going to happen. So we're gonna continue to break for a little while, but when we come back again, we'll have increased sanitation, sanitization, sanitation and sanitization. We'll have some additional measures in place, but we're not gonna keep kindergarten through fourth graders six feet apart. It's just not possible. It's not a facilities thing. It's a style of ministry thing. So there's our update. Again, everything will be on social media. We have some graphics to go along with it. It'll be on our website. And of course, we'll be sending out an email update as well, but I want to keep you up to, up to date. Uh, if you have any questions, reach out to me directly, chris, K-R-I-S, at shawneealliance.com. I'm happy to answer questions, and I look forward as we get into this new season together. I just look forward to it. And thank you all for those of you who have come out and made worship uh, a part of, of in-person worship, a part of your life again. Uh, it's been a tremendous experience, and I look forward to when it's the right time for us to be fully gathered as a family again. Have a blessed week.